Welcome back, everyone, to Red Dusk. I'm your host, Mr. Mo Clever. Uh, but we're still playing as good old SFR, Yugoslavia. We're looking good. We don't believe in ethnic issues. We're one peop uh, multiple people out in one country. But what should we do about this year's industrialization campaign focus? Our current budget for this year has included a heavy allocation of funds and investments towards our economic growth. The largest of these is the industrial sector. We can choose the which part of said industrial sector which gets allocated the most funding. Currently, we have the choice between our civilian economy, our military industry, and a third option which allocates funds towards construction of all kinds. While all sectors of our industrial economy are needed to those are needed those fundings or extra funds, it's up to us to choose the sector which gets its fair relief. Military factories, uh, civilian factories, focus on construction. So you build more civvies, millies, or what? And this goes to industrialization, eh? So, oh, well. We want more military factories, civvies. I think I like focus on construction. You get more stuff faster, anyways. Building either one, so let's go with that one. Let's so build a little faster now. Some radar, civvies, and uh, infrastructure is always nice too. Um, so we have oh negative two billion dollars. It's great. Uh, a new Yugoslavia. We'll see about that. Fourth war in China. Pack. Oh, India, Pakistani war. I made this mistake last time, the Southern Revolutionaries. Um, I wanted to, I was, are you a person in our real life? You look like a person in our, in our a timeline. The Commonwealth, ongoing nuclear program, America's sole friend in South Asia. Huh? The military is a real authority, pretty normal. Balochi insurgency versus this. Caste system, of course. Never ending military spending. And there's a communist rebellion in India. Would you look at that? Parliament split. Southern revolutionaries. Indo China war escalates. Oh. Vietnam declared a war on the Kingdom of Cambodia. Oh. And Thailand. Oh, you joined the war. So you eventually do join the war. Look at that. I did not realize that. I should pay attention to what's going on. I really should. Um, it looks like they're still waiting down here, which is great. Hopefully they can hold, especially with the Vietnamese division helping them out. Are they supposed to split off or something? Parliament split. So how many gets in? Two? Well. As long as you're holding the line, that's all I really care about. I don't think there's anyone here. The field marshal, so. Uh, how are we doing over here now? With these divisions, where are we at? Oh, we can help out? Alright, you can help out. I like that idea a lot. Let me just stay there. Ah, yes. Vietnam. Where are you? No, here we go. Okay. Oh, it looks like you're doing pretty well by yourself. I like that a lot. Concan. Bugatti systems. Nice, 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 nice. 2004. Better artillery would be pretty nice, too. Can you go in here? Maybe. How's Pakistan looking? Pakistani. Alright, it looks like they're doing alright. You guys actually, well, well, with, uh, when Vietnam starts up and out, uh, that looks pretty good. That was another comment, too. Uh, oh, look at that. Interesting. Oh. Um, I want to say these guys are going to win, so... Fourth Indochina War. The, the end of the Third Indochina War. Many thought it would be the last time a war happened in Indochina. However, increasing tensions in a coup and unstable Cambodia caused Indochina countries to take up arms once more. On one side is the communist governments of Laos and Cambodia and Vietnam, backed strongly by them. Yeah. While on the other side is the anti-communist of Thailand and rural Cambodia forces seeking to defeat the communists. Both determined to finish each other off in a grueling world must choose to side to back. Of course we're going to back the communists. Why would we not? Because sometimes they won't win. That's why. Fruits of our labor. Finally, we managed to implement all the economic reforms we promised and we managed to improve our economic system. 
Factors of are increased and are self-sufficient. Bureaucracy is no longer a big problem, and our standard of living is increased. Now we can actually say that the choice to opt for a pseudo-centralized economic plan was the best, and in a couple years, perhaps the system could be a variant for this classic smart socialist market. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And we can't do this one yet, huh? Paid back all the debts we've had to the IMF and other countries at a reasonable level. Oh, don't tell me we can actually do that, because I actually went over. So you have to do it exactly perfectly. Oh, or we do this one here. Yeah, finish paying debts. Yay! They're just IMF problems. Since we're part of the IMF, also known as the International Monetary Fund, they've been very helpful in financing our economic plans, and now that we've finally managed to lift our economy out of ruin, we have to worry about the various problems, um, and especially debts, that we have with them. Once paid, we can finally say that a country has uh, overcome the economic crisis, and in doing so has done it admirably. The debt management system should be disabled as the debts we have paid are no longer a problem. Economic rebirth. Look at that. Finally, weeks, years have passed since what felt like our first meeting to discuss economic affairs. But today, after all those trowers trying to come up with the plans and ideas to get our economy back on track, we were, only, we were able to triumph victoriously. And today, our motherland is not only one, if not the largest country in the Balkans, but it's also the largest economy and the most efficient one at that. Yay. Is that America? Well, we gotta beat him up then. Something's gonna happen in, in, in uh, Korea. I can just tell. Oh, how are we doing in Africa? I keep forgetting about them. Oh well, just Africa, right? Hey, more divisions, nice, thankfully. Oh, there goes the Korean War. Boop. Show off successes. Down the East Asia Treaty Organization, very nice. Economic rebirth, great. More political power, construction speed, production efficiency growth, research speed, all that good stuff. Love it. Ah, uh, never enough research slots. What are we doing here? Ah, uh, so we're building up a lot of roads, which is nice. Negative 10% is not nice, though. Build these up, and we also want to build up uh, here, too. You are definitely getting a Sultan Oh, look at that. Chinese troops enter Korea? Million shall bleed. Uh, is that a Cold War thing? So, out of that, out of this. I want to send volunteers, but we're already in three different places at the same time, so. We don't have to send volunteers all the time, though. Also, apparently I'm saying the word, uh, the name Milosevic. Milosevic. Wrong. I guess it, I guess it may have something wrong. It is what it is, though. Iraq Syrian war, eh? Global economic crash. Oh, crap. Increased tensions and the eruption of war in Asia has led to a financial crash all over the globe never seen before. God dang it, we just had a good economy. Value of currencies have dropped, crucial trade routes have closed, and millions have lost their livelihoods. Many people, evil people even lost confidence in the government, choosing to join radical ideologies. One of the countries thriving on tomorrow needs to take immediate action. Well, god dang it. We're literally trying to have economic rebirth. The world just does not like Yugoslavia, obviously. We're literally just trying to make our people better. What's your problem? How are you guys doing? Maybe we should have another field marshal. Oh, look at all these Serbs. Uh, that's fine. I like offensive the most. How are we doing in Africa? Just hanging out. That's pretty normal. I don't think you guys can do anything here. <sighs> why, 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 why? I heard this before with the crisis. A war rival in greatest, the Great Wars that started in Asia after increased tensions. One of the most important manufacturing countries being at war with each other has led to a global financial crisis, affecting us both politically and economically. We need to deal with this quickly before it gets out of hand. So how are we going to deal with it? Harsh fist? 
I think we're going to go talk with the public. I think that makes the most sense for us. There needs to be no need to be hot-headed against poor citizens who lost their livelihoods. A PR campaign. Don't worry, the government is here for you. And compensate the republic. The government is here to serve the people. It's not only obviously that extends to supporting them. Yeah, of course. Iraq, Syria. He has to slow down here. Uh, wow. Pretty freaking intense down there. Ain't it? Hey, that's better for us. Yeah, China is just thwomping them. I don't think anyone can react fast enough to really stop the Chinese. Yep. Nice job. Japan's just not strong enough for that. Laos, how we doing? Laosi? Uh, I don't think you can win here. Uh oh, did you cut him off? It's kind of impressive, not gonna lie, actually. Good job, AI. It's one of the rare times I'll actually say that. Huh. Having more organization is really nice. Oh god, this is not good. Oh, it looks like uh, Pakistan is not going to win. After decades of rising tensions between Pakistan and India, you know the war started. The atmosphere around this one, however, being much different than both sides having to want to finish a conflict for good. Seeing the weakness in India, the Naxalites have formed a united front with other communists to strike the government forces. Well, the Indian communists never appeared, so I'll get it back to the Indian government, I guess. God dang it. We do what we can. We're opportunists. Kind of. Are you freaking kidding me? Get your butts in there. I mean, you're as good as dead if you don't make it over, so. Come on! We almost made it! Oh, we're so screwed. That's so over. Well, you had a good run. That's why you're just infantry. Blockading Vietnam. And it's Hong Kong, Macau. Basic guide shells. Well, we tried, my friends. I'm sorry. PR campaign? Yeah. Take over river like that. Look at that. Oh, hello. Oh, went to Vietnam. Red flag over Bangkok. Oh, do we? Oh, whoops. Hey, do the war thing for them. Oh, whoops. Oh well. How's your rock doing? Hmm. After rising tension in Syria and Iraq, a war is broken out over who between the two countries with the aim of total victory over each other. Who should support? I'm thinking, it looks like Iraq is going to do real well. Even though we do prefer the socialists at the very least. Um, yeah. Hey, look at that. Self-propelled. And personal carriers. Personnel carriers. Do we not have any personnel carriers? Motorized equipment from the year 2000. Next one will be done when? November 13th? That's not bad. 2000 total artillery. Motorized artillery, PR campaigns, nice. Yeah, so much production costs. Wow. 
Okay. Compensate the public. Remove civil discontent. Should be good, because I want to get back that political power. Add public compensation. You'd basically get 0.25 political power every day, at least. Back. A liquidated assets. We need cash up our reserves. The cash to fill up our reserves. Uh, immediately with cash. If, anything, if this crisis has shown us anything, it is that over reliance on a single country will only lead to economic economy being left on a weak spot. Road recovery. Although it's a long way, it'll take years to recover. They've taken the necessary steps to begin that process now and wait it out. We've done all we can. Now all that's left to do is just wait for the war in Asia to finish and the routes to reopen to fully recover. Okie dokie. There you go. The Iraq wins. Oh, who could have seen that one coming? Can I give you any more volunteers? God dang it. This new planes. Hmm. Let me see. Yugoslavia. God dang it. Exercise more. Oh, look at that. Who could have seen that one coming too? Totally not us. With all this going on, so we're going to do all that stuff. And then we're going to go next is <clears throat> looking outwards. Now the internal problem is dealt with. Uh, we can focus outwards. We're ready to get Croatia and Slovenia back into the country. Hey, absolutely. Sure to find out. Can I just convert you to infantry then here? Happy January. Two thousand five wasn't that bad year. I prefer two thousand four. That was a better year for me overall. Just saying. Would you all be able to do this? Maybe. Nope. Well, we're still going to look at us. Look at that Chinese reunification. It's really a red roll. Uh, I'll do this one next. We're doing our economy is decent enough for now. It's not great, but it's decent. more manpower maybe <clears throat> lose stability for more popularity because we don't use that stability basically popularity for this you know we still have one we still do this one why not looking good I wonder because they constantly attack here should we do anything like that Oh god. Time for action. In the wake of our upcoming reclamation in the northern breakaway states, our general staff has put together two potential operations that can be used to choose the leader of war. Operation Soko, aided by aerial bombardments. Our ground troops shall make a general offensive across the Croatian border with the objective of causing as much havoc for the Croatians as possible. Accompanied by motorized artillery brigades, our units will day by day push north all the way to the German border. German border? Huh. It should be regarded that this operation, though reliable, will likely lead to the heightened casualties in case of our offensive slowing down. Operation Gvazdena Ruka. Focusing on our armored units, she utilize our mechanized armed forces to quickly move in and subdue their targets before they can properly organize their forces. A policy which mirrors the tactics of the screen, a success will result in our war only lasting a few weeks. This operation will require particular investments into the armored core of the army, along with APC motorized units, or this will be the faster, more aggressive approach. Reach attack and defense. Oh, man, that's strong. Ooh, we are going, uh, huh. We only have three tanks, even though I went that route, so, uh, hmm. I need the breakaways focus. Honestly, it makes more sense for this one. As much as I want more tank stuff, I think that's probably for the best. A new capital wouldn't be bad. A civvy? Like the presidency? Rocket artillery. Uh huh. Better main battle tank. Ooh. Production efficiency is negative five percent. So even if we were to do that, we still get nothing, huh? Let's 
Separatist uprising in Vietnam, interesting, oh boy. APCs? The guy with meat. I guess not. Yeah, I wasn't worried about that one too much. Empty air and whatnot. Cut diplomatic contact. There is any, there is any, isn't any reason why we should keep our diplomats. It's already clear by now that the conflict won't be resolved peacefully. Strange. I don't understand why this doesn't work. Oh, now it's working. What the? Is it because of this? Yeah, production efficiency has to be positive at least. Uh, mix is have any No, it only needs chromium. We have more, we have more than enough chromium. Prepare the uh, JNA. Army should be prepared by intense training and move to the Croatia border so the ready strike when you get the signal. Yeah, pretty much. Strange. Very, very, very strange. Self propelled's getting better, personal care is getting better, motors is getting better, everything's getting better. Good. I forgot about this stuff. Crap. I should have taken this one way earlier, but that's alright. In my population, what should we do this year for this year's nationalization goal? Just build. Taliban take over to Afghanistan. Road recovery. Yeah, this would definitely help us out more, too. Operation Sokol. With Operation Sokol re begin ready, after many preparations, we can finally cross to the Croatia border. And thus begin a rifle invasion against the states that broke away from us back in 1991. A country will once again be unified. Absolutely. Now, where will we be able to take them on and beat them up? That's the real question. They're pretty well dug well in, so. Defensive, organization first. Country expert, anything here, level five. We haven't really worked on our land auction very much, have we? Oy. Road recovery. And wait it out. The global supply chain disruption national spirit will be removed once the war in Asia ends. Well, they're trying. Did you actually win here, maybe? It's fighting amounts, which is pretty bad. We don't have any mountain here, unfortunately. Maybe? Nice. Oh, come on. There you go. We go straight to war with them. Ah! The Croat border guards 
I've reported seeing more and more Yugoslav military personnel across the borders as SFR Yugoslavia has begun training exercises. This comes as no surprise as leading up to this. The SFR Yugoslavia cut uh, diplomatic contacts with former Yugoslav republics and started pro-war propaganda glorifying the Krajina War that happened between the Yugoslavia and Croatia in the 90s that caused multiple casualties. Well, no official announcement was made by Belgrade, it seems clear that SFR Yugoslavia prepares to fight another war to reclaim the breakaway republics that are independent since the 90s now that their internal problems are dealt with. Will the Balkans ever be stable? No, but you know, it's Balkans for you. Ah, good. I hope to God we can win. It's gotta be somewhere here that we can break through. If not, this would be very embarrassing. Hello. Oh. Like here ish, up here ish, somewhere ish. I don't care how costly it's gonna be, we need to win. Youth Pioneers. Today, as I become a pioneer, I give my pioneers word of honor that I shall study and work diligently to respect my parents and my seniors and be a loyal and honest comrade. That I shall love our home and self-manage Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. That I shall spread brotherhood and unity and the principles for which comrade Tito fought. And that I shall value all peoples of the world to respect freedom and peace. They were really well dug in. That's not good. Right now, for them, public policing, let's see, Trujman, huh? So they got more delayed comm support, which didn't help at all. Wayward's political power. Weekly manpower went really far down. Division defensive core territory, negative 25%. Wow, they should have no manpower. Any damage you do should, should not be able to replicate at all. Look at that. Gone in Yugoslavia. Today, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia is in a state of war with the breakaway states of Croatia and Slovenia. These are the words of the president of the SFR Yugoslavia, Ivan Stambolic, when he appeared on national TV earlier today. Numerous reports of the Yugoslav People's Army entering Croatian territory have been seen it coming. When the Croatian government in Zagreb has officially announced that enemy forces across the border have already entered to border towns and smaller cities. Though the major ones, such as Dukovar, Dubrovnik, and others are still in Croatian hands and thus suffering from intense bombardment. Meanwhile, in the UN's General Assembly, many nations are divided on what to do and whom to support. The emergency session of the UN Security Council is scheduled for tomorrow. Many expect the conflict to last and be brutal. Old wounds are open once more. Now they're out of manpower. Good. Yeah, that's why he spent all that political power for all this stuff, too, so. He's pioneers. Oh, hello. Very good. Ljubljana. Korean unification. Nice. Reunification of Yugoslavia. Well, look at that. The breakaway states of Croatia and Slovenia had hoped that their independence were secured in the 90s due to Yugoslavia's weakness caused by internal st instability. Now, as Yugoslav tanks roll across the Greb and Ljubljana, Croatian and Slovenian governments have officially surrendered to Yugoslav forces. Yugoslavia had almost collapsed multiple times after Tito's death, or it be Slovenia's and Croatia's secession from the country or multiple separatist organizations committing attacks. Yugoslavia was able to endure it and regain its strength through coverage of the former republics. Uh, with both breakaway states now reoccupied by the JNA, the, the police forces sweeping any resistance, Yugoslavia has been reunified. Hey, Slovenia. I think so you pronounce it. Could be probably totally wrong, though. Beautiful. Ah, finally. Do we get Albania ever? Great job, everybody. So we just want your your territory so we can build more factories and roads. And then what? United once more. At the last reactionary breakaway states of Croatia and Slovenia have been brought down with the people. Yugoslavia is once again unified under brotherhood and unity thanks to us. We should start a reconstruction efforts and implement a stable administration in these new republics of Yugoslavia that won't ever tolerate national separatists. Alas, we won against the reactions that threatened to enter a unitary socialist republic back in 91 and reunified Yugoslavia. Oh, look at that. Brother, do you need forever? I'll get all cords in Yugoslavia. Yeah, we'll do that one, and then we'll do this one, too. Or maybe do this one next first. 
Years of Milosevic rule caused the revolutionary spirit of the masses to decay into inactivity. No longer are there high pioneer memberships or mass, mass use events. As we are already focused on expanding the East Bay areas, we should restore the revolutionary spirit around it as well. Sure, sounds good to me. Great job, guys. Um, it looks like Iran's doing quite well. But we have no benefits from doing that, so maybe we won't. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Sure. No, that's good stuff. Oh wait, this is the wrong place. Oh crap. What the heck? What? Uh well that was dumb. Greater Yugoslavia idea? Sure after World War II, but Joseph Brostito had proposed a new idea. Uh Yugoslavia that stretched stretched from Trieste to Greece. Once the idea has never been realized due to the onset of the Cold War and rebuilding Yugoslavia had gone through due to the damages caused by the war. Now that Yugoslavia is once again reunited more powerful than ever, we can finally realize this idea in the twenty first century. Look at that. That'd be kinda cool. 